guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I have another video I'm adding to my ranking from least to most favorite series. This time it's not just one brand. You guys have suggested I mix it up and add things in from different brands. So today I'm going to be ranking the holiday palette releases from my least favorite to most favorite. I was originally just going to do like a top five, bottom five kind of video, but then I realized I only had like 13 palettes anyways, so I might as well just do the least to most favorite. Now one thing I want to point out is I can only talk about the palettes that I did purchase, so there are a lot more worse holiday palette releases. Maybe I'll make another video talking about that, but there are a lot more <laughs> worse holiday makeup palette releases, but these are the ones I purchased. So I purchased them because I knew I was gonna like them, basically. Even the ones at the bottom, like they really, I'm not gonna talk that much trash about them, <laughs> all right? I believe all of these are holiday releases. They came out around the same time. So we're gonna start off with number 12. Some of you guys are gonna hate me. I love Pat McGrath. I love all of her palettes, but I feel as if she's in a disadvantage for this video because I am doing the M M Pat McGrath Labs Mothership Sublime Bronze Temptation Palette. Now, in my other ranking of Pat McGrath palettes, I did talk about why this was my least favorite Pat McGrath palette. I consider these little palettes at a disadvantage for this specific video because there are only six shades in the palette, whereas a lot of these have like 12 plus shades. So these I feel like are less versatile just because there's only six shades, so I like them less. Love the quality of this. There's a couple of colors in here I would never use. I talked about the duochrome on this shade being very off-putting on the eye, meaning it looks very cranberry, but then it looks like a weird mustard yellow on my lid. I just, I don't know. Of the new releases, this one was my least favorite. And you guys know I love Pat McGrath. They had to be ranked, okay? <laughs> okay, now you guys are gonna get mad at me again. Um, but again, it has to do with the fact that this is a, only a six pan palette. This is the Mothership Subversive Metamorphosis Eyeshadow Palette. And the reason why is because these are literally just shimmer colors. Now they're gorgeous, gorgeous shimmer colors but all of the palettes that I have here have gorgeous shimmer colors in them, and I feel like it's unfair to put this at number 11, but like, that's the problem with these ranking videos. They have to go somewhere, so this had to go at number 11. I am so sorry. So number 10 is one of the newer palettes that I have reviewed, and that is the NARS Ignited Palette. I would suggest you go watch my review to maybe find out why I think what I think. Um, it's just very similar to a palette that I already have, though gorgeous as it is, there's nothing really unique about it because I am so into shimmer and glitter colors that I have a lot of colors in this color family. It's a really pretty palette, and please take this with a grain of salt. So of all the holiday palettes I released, this is my 10th favorite, if you want to think of it that way, but of all the palettes that I bought, this is my third to last favorite. Okay. <laughs> I'm not really sure if this guy was considered a holiday palette release, but I'm counting it. Um, and this is the Kevin O'Quan Nude Pop. Everybody was bazonkers for it, but I found the colors to be like very, very gray on me. I mean, you might say it's because of the colors that I chose, but it just didn't come out as purple on my lid as I wanted. I mean, I have created very pretty looks with this palette, and these shimmer shades are absolutely stunning, but it had to go somewhere. Like, I really do like this palette quite a lot. The formula is really, really nice, but personally, all of the hype about it, I wasn't as into it, which is crazy because it's a purple palette, and anything with purple in it, like, shoots up on my favorites list, but... I gotta be real here, and that is why this guy is number nine. Number eight is the newest review that I did, and that is the Too Faced Pretty Rich. Now, 90% of the reason why I love this palette is because of this new glitter gel thing they have going on. I love any palette that has a glitter formula in it, but the quality on this kind of disappointed me. Um, again, with Too Faced, inconsistent quality um it still has good quality but like these shimmers just don't show up on my lid really at all unless i really work with them i feel like it's missing a cool tone brown shade in here the looks are really really pretty that i come up with and i do really really thoroughly enjoy this palette but they came out with some other good stuff it's holiday season <laughs> and you will see okay. next this guy was so underrated it is so awesome you guys know i have such a soft spot for Bobbi Brown, but I love the Bobbi Brown Ultra Violet Eyeshadow Palette. I just really like how they created a legitimate, cool-toned purple palette. They weren't playing around. This is a purple palette. I feel like a lot of times brands try to get by with a purple palette, but it really is like 
a few purples thrown in with a bunch of warm shades, a bunch of brown. So this is like the first purple palette that is actually like a cool tone purple palette. I love Bobbi Brown for that. You can create some really cool looks with this palette too. It's just a really underrated product. I love this. Okay, so number seven is the Pat McGrath Labs Mothership Subliminal Dark Star Palette. This palette is so beautiful. I created one of my favorite looks ever because of this shade, but it couldn't be at the top because this is the only shade that's kind of a showstopper. Mind you, this gold is one of the best golds ever. Nobody does a gold shadow like Pat McGrath, I swear. All of her golds are the most amazing golds I've ever tried, so these two are awesome. The rest of the palette, I just feel like I can do without, though they are complementary to the colors in the palette. Again, Pat is just at a disadvantage because this is a little six pan palette compared to all of these other palettes. Really nice, but there really is only one or two looks that I can get out of this that I'm like so obsessed with. All right, we're in the top five now. So I have the Too Faced Gingerbread Spice Palette. I feel like people stop talking about this palette, but I love this palette. I love how it has some really bright pops of warm colors, but you can really create such a unique look with this palette. Of course you have your neutrals, but you have a bunch of shades that just make a great fall or winter or Christmas or holiday look. I love this palette. Also, the quality of this is spectacular. You know how Too Faced, it's hit or miss. This is a giant hit for them. This is an amazing formula that they created. I don't know. I haven't talked about it too much on this channel, but I really, really like this palette and it's got some good colors. All right, so my number four favorite palette Thank you guys for suggesting this to me. You were right. This is the ABH Sultry Palette. Now, I don't think I have any looks to show you because this is kind of a palette that I've literally just been wearing every day. I've been creating really pretty everyday looks with it. So nothing that I really took pictures of to post, but I mean, you guys have seen this enough. This is just such a good, easy palette to go to. Great for everyday looks, really amazing quality, really blendable. Just a palette that I am truly, really, really comfortable with. So for that, that's why this is my top five eyeshadow palettes, my number four favorite. Really love it, it's a really good staple, and I mean, this packaging though. Can we talk about that? So these top three are worth every single penny. You're going to get three palettes, get these three, and of course, they're like the three most expensive palettes. <laughs> But I guess you get what you pay for. I don't know. I'm obsessed with these palettes. All of them have a really great mix of different textures, which I guess is why I like them so much. But number three goes to the Huda Beauty Nude Palette. I freaking love Huda Beauty palettes, okay? I always say Huda. I know it's Huda. But I freaking love her palettes. I think her brand makes the most beautiful color stories, the most beautiful color themes in their palette, even better than Anastasia. All right, look at this. I am not over-exaggerating when I say this is the most gorgeous eyeshadow palette I have ever seen. I just love the different finishes in it. I love the color choices here. I know people like hate on the brand or whatever, but this palette's bomb I'm about the makeup, and this palette is bomb, okay? <laughs> Number two and one, of course, we're closely tied, and I know you know, if you watch my videos, I know you know what these two palettes are. Like, two of my most ever favorite released palettes were released within, like, a week of each other, and oh, some days I like one palette more than the other, but today, this is how I'm feeling. So, number two, which is really number one in my heart, but number two is the Natasha Denona Gold Palette. This is, she, she did it with this palette. This is her best palette ever. So easy to create looks with this. You can create such gorgeous different looks with it. To the eye, it looks really plain, but then you put it on your eyes and you just see how truly amazing this palette is. I don't even want to talk about it anymore because you just need to try it because it is as good as I am saying. I'm not over exaggerating, okay? All right, so number one, and no surprise. I'm not even gonna be dramatic, because half of you guys know. The Mothership, the newest Mothership, the Mothership 5. God, this is so pretty. I am so sorry that I sound like a broken record, but for all my new viewers, Pat McGrath, hands down, has the best glitter shimmer eyeshadow formula 
in the freaking world. Please go watch my other videos so you can see what I'm talking about. But if you like glitter shadows, you need to get this palette. I think it's her best color story of all of her palettes. It's both wearable, unique, and it allows you to get creative. This is my number one and I should talk about it more, but I'm just a broken record because these two I do not shut up about. I literally do not shut up about these. So I'm gonna stop talking about them. So please just buy them. <laughs> they are both mad, 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 mad expensive, but they are worth every penny. So save your money, buy those. They're collectibles, they're luxurious products. You feel bougie AF, when you do your makeup, I know I have a lot of Natasha Denona and Pat McGrath lovers who watch me. I know you guys know what I'm talking about. I know you guys have my back. So please comment down below and tell people how great these two brands and two palettes are. I got really emotional about that. Um, <laughs> I always feel bad about my least favorite palettes, but always keep in mind, I did spend my own money on them and I didn't return them, so obviously I like something about them. This series stresses me out because I gotta put somebody in last, okay? Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys are having great holidays and I will see you guys in the next video. So remember to subscribe, thumbs up, comment down below, and if you do, I will love you forever. <laughs> Bye, have a good day, guys.